So much to give. That's how Maureen Stenko sees her son, Nick, who is on the autism spectrum. Nick is 20, and in Pennsylvania where they live, students with disabilities can stay in school until 22 years old. But what they do after graduation is what keeps parents like Maureen up at night. I was lying in bed one night at 3 a.m. I was thinking about, oh man, what's gonna happen to him? You know, it's like, it's coming. It's like impending now. And I actually remember the saying that my father had, when you have a problem, pray like hell, then get up off your knees and do something. And that's when it popped in my head. So much to give. About three years later, so much to give is not only her mantra, it's a cafe that employs people with disabilities. Maureen teamed up with philanthropist Kathy Opperman and Nick's former therapist, Tyler Camerly, to open the restaurant in Cedars, Pennsylvania. They employ 63 people, 80% have a disability, and they work as greeters, food runners, sous chefs, dishwashers, and servers. But the cafe is not only a place to work, it's become a safe space for others with disabilities to dine. We never even took Nick to a restaurant before this cafe opened because when we used to, it wasn't worth it because we would spend all this money to go out to eat to be completely stressed out. This cafe has taught Nick how to sit in a restaurant because now we have a place to go where if he stands up and he starts hopping like a bunny or clapping or yelling, nobody cares. Lauren Opeltz, who is hearing impaired, works at the cafe as both a hostess and a sign language teacher. I mean, if you would ask me over a year ago, two years ago, that I would be a hostess, a server, I wouldn't believe you. Um, <laughs> Because I have grown so much self-confidence. A lot of these employees I've known since the very, very beginning. And the growth I see in them, that it's just mind-blowing. Maureen didn't know if Nick would be able to work at the cafe because of his disability and extreme food allergies, but he's exceeded her expectations. I actually brought him here on Wednesday because his school was closed and he set this entire room up without me saying a word. And the level of pride in him was just incredible. Incredible is that she didn't stop there. Across the street, she also opened up a studio where they teach music, life skills, crafts, and other classes for people with disabilities. Thanks to volunteers, donors, and a little elbow grease, her prayer for her son was answered and exceeded. I did originally think that so much to give was all about Nick and others with different abilities. And what I've learned through this whole process is it's not just about Nick and other people with, with disabilities. Everybody has so much to give.